So for the first step, you want to start with the with feet. So you want to get your foot and your screw. Next, you want to put down the foot approximately one inch from where the leather meets the cloth. Next, you're going to put your, take your screw and put it into the hole. To screw it in, you want to use a Phillips head screwdriver and begin screwing it in. Next, you want to do the same thing for the other side. But this time, the leg, the foot is going to be around two inches from the end. Put in your screw, start screwing it in. Next, you want to do the exact same thing on the other side board. For the next step, we're going to be attaching the headboard arm. For this step, we want to get the headboard arm, a metal panel, and six small bolts. You, you put the headboard arm right next to the previous piece. Next, you want to put the metal panel over it. Make sure it's over the holes. Next, you want to take your bolts and loosely screw them in. Next, you want to take your Allen key and start uh, fully tightening them. You want to start with the headboard arm though. We're going to be attaching the side rails. Take your side rail, it looks like this. It's one of the thicker metal uh, pieces. Next, you want to put it over the sideboards so that these holes are directly above the holes that are on the sideboard. Next, you want to get four long bolts. They look like this. You want to start by loosely fitting them in. Next, you want to tighten it and always make sure that these smaller holes are facing upwards. Now, you want to do the same exact thing on the other side. The next step, you want to start by attaching the angle brackets. For this, you'll need the angle bracket and four small bolts. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Put your angle bracket, loosely fit in the bolts. Next, you want to tighten uh, them on both sides. Next, we're going to be setting up the footboard and the back brace. For this, you, it is recommended to get a second helper. We're going to start with the fo footboards first. Make sure so the footboard has two sides. It has a cloth side and a leather side. Make sure that the leather side is facing upwards when you put it uh, into the frame. The same principle applies to the bag brace, as it has a leather side and a cloth side. Make sure that the leather side is the one that's facing upwards when you set it up into the frame. So first we start with the bag brace. For this you will need two bolts per side, two small bolts. Make sure that one person is helping you, you have it held up, and then you want to loosely put it in into the holes That's cool. and then you want to loosely screw it in you want to do the exact same thing with two more bolts on the other side next we're doing the uh, front board for this we want two bolts two small bolts first you want to put a bolt into the most readily accessible slot lightly Put it in. And next, you want to take the second bolt, put it in again, lightly tighten it so it just sticks in place. And you want to do the exact same thing with the other side. Start by tightening the uh, side that faces the front board. Do make sure that all the bolts and all the corners are tightened. Next we're going to be doing the headboard. So the headboard has a rounded leather side and a flat leather side. Make sure that the rounded leather side is, fit, is going to be facing upwards. Next, in order to screw it in, we're going to have to take off the velcro on the back. Through this you'll be able to screw in the bolts. Now, 
you have four screwing points. The lower two screwing points will mean a higher headboard. The uh, higher two screwing points will mean a lower headboard. Uh, the lower headboard is for a mattress of 8 to 10 inches and the higher and the higher headboard is for a mattress of 10 to 12 inches. So to make the holes, we want to start by putting the long bolt through the holes in order to make the opening. So make sure that somebody is holding up the headboard for you and we're going to be setting it up for a mattress of 10 to 12 inches. So start by inputting the, both the uh, bolts in and then try to find your marks. Make sure to first loosely put it in and then you will tighten it. So next you want to put the ductural straps back on. Next we're going to be setting up the center rail. For this we're going to want a T-shaped angle brace, a long bolt, and a nut. Start by taking the T-shaped angle brace, put it under so that the holes are facing the top. Next, push your long bolt through the hole, making sure it goes all the way through, and then take your nut and start tightening it on the bottom. Next we're going to be doing the exact same thing on the other side. Take your T-shaped angle brace, put it under, push bolt through, and tighten the nut. Next we're going to be setting up the center rail legs. So you have your legs that look like this, and then you're going to take a long bolt. So you will find these bigger holes that go all the way through and the, near the center. One right here, and one over there. So you want to put, uh, put your leg so there, the hole on the leg can be seen through the bigger hole. Next, we take a large bolt and start screwing it in. You want to do the exact same thing on the other with the other hole. Make sure that you can see the smaller hole through the big hole. Take your bolt, put it through, loosely tighten it, and then fully tighten it with the Allen key. Next, we're going to take the center rail and put it inside the frame of the bed. For our next step, we're going to be taking four small bolts, two bolts per side. And then we're going to be fitting in the bolts into the holes on these T angle braces. You want to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then you will tighten both sides. For our next step, we're going to be setting up the slats. For, for this step, we're going to be needing two slats. And then from your bag of caps, you will find two types of caps. There'll be the end caps and the couplers. Make sure you take two end caps and one coupler per two slats. Then you want to start connecting them. I recommend starting with the mid, uh, the coupler. Insert the slats. The same thing. The other slot. And then you want to attach here end caps. Same thing on the other side. Now once you have done this, you want to bring it over to your bed frame and input it into the rails. You will know it's in when you hear a click. You want to do, we want to repeat the entire step until the entire frame is filled with slots.